Hi, this is Steve, K-A-B-Z. Once a week here in uh, Michigan, uh, there are a group of hams uh, in Michigan and Ohio who get together uh, to do Winlink peer-to-peer -peer sessions to practice sending uh, ICS formed messages and regular text messages. And I just want to do a little video here showing how we do that. Uh, this is all done via RF. Uh, using Vera digital mode on WinLink and I think all the participants are using the registered version of Vera to take advantage of the higher speeds available. So uh, uh, we'll show you how we do that here uh, and how quickly some of these messages can be sent uh, using Vera. In preparing for the Thursday morning peer-to-peer -peer sessions on WinLink using Vera, uh, we just need to make a, uh, a message that can just test the uh, speed of uh, the registered version of Vera. So for that we're going to do a, just a uh, prediction of International Space Station passes and we're going to save the results to a file on the desktop and we'll just call it ISS and here's the here's the file that that created and basically this is just a uh, a list of the visible to the naked eye or illuminated ISS passes over the next uh, I think three days yes three days so we're going to use that for the text of our message so we'll exit that and we're going to open uh, open WinLink, and we're going to create a message, uh, but we're we're going to send it to every all the participants in the group. Now, all of these uh, participants aren't, aren't active every week, and we don't know for sure which ones are. So we're just going to create the same message to all of them. To do that, we're going to use a group address. I've already created the group address for all of the participants. And I'll just uh, show you here real quick. These are all the participants so far in the group here in Michigan and Ohio. And uh, uh, so we just created a group address for all of them so we can create a message for the entire group. So we're going to go to message, new message, and you can uh, create a form to use or use a template for that and you can save the templates that you use most often up here on the menu bar. Now we're going to use the ICS 213 form so we're going to open that and that actually opened the HTML window in another screen so I'm going to drag it over here so we can look at it. Now first thing I'm going to do is open the text file that we're going to use. I'm going to do a control A and a control C and copy that text. And then I'll, I can just start out by pasting it right here in the text area of the message, doing a control V to paste it. Uh, for incident name, you just uh, use any name you want for it since this is just a practice incident. We're just going to call this P2P session. Uh, it automatically generates a message number for you or you can put your own in. And this is going to be to the P2P participants. From me. Test message. And we're going to use local time. Uh, for, for these local nets where we're all in the same time zone, uh, I, I use local time and not Zulu time. And approved by is also me and the title is assistant assistant EC Gladwin County okay when you have all these filled in uh, you submit the form uh, and this is just a window that tells you you must click OK and it will save the form as a text message now we can we can close the uh, HTML window. I'll just drag that over to the other screen where it came from. So here is the uh, here's the text version of that 
ICS-213. Now you have to tell it who you're sending the message to. Now you can either type in a WinLink address in the To window or you can select one of the group addresses. The group address I created, I gave the name P2P for peer-to-peer. -peer. So we're going to click on that and that's going to fill in peer-to-peer. Since this is going to be a peer-to-peer -peer session and not a WinLink session, we must tell it that this is a peer-to-peer -peer message. So we'll select peer-to-peer -peer there. Now, uh, I'm going to move this over a little bit. So you can see over here in the outbox, over here you can see there are zero messages in the outbox. In a peer-to-peer -peer session, when you address a, a single message to a group, it's going to create an individual message to each of the members of that group. So you'll see when I post this to the outbox by clicking this button up here on the menu bar on the message form, watch what happens down here to the number of messages in the outbox. So I'm going to post this to the outbox. Uh, you'll see on the message list that there, there's a paperclip icon at the beginning of each message. If you click on that paperclip icon, it's going to open the uh, ICS-213 formed message. Now you'll see here we lost some of the formatting uh, in, in the message, but uh, this is just a practice message anyway, so I wanted to send messages with a little more length. If you double click on the message in the list, it'll open the text version of the message where you still have the formatting. So they can get the formatting if they open the text message, but in the ICS uh, 213 forum, uh, you don't get that formatting. So I'm going to open a session. Now this, is, this has selected Open a Vera HF WinLink session, but you can switch to a peer-to-peer -peer session in the session window up here. So we'll switch to peer-to-peer. and I'm going to open the Vera HF window. Now here in the monitor window you can switch from the monitor being on or off. This will give you some limited decoding of, uh, of the actual data traffic. Now I believe all of the users here are running the registered version of Vera so they will be capable of uh, quite high speeds. So we'll stand by and wait for the session. It's only a few more minutes and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's eight o'clock. So we're going to see if we can connect to the host station. Oh, there we go. Got a good contact right off the bat. We'll see what kind of speeds we get here. Signals are quite good this morning. You'll see the number of messages in the inbox and outbox will change as the messages are sent and received. I don't need the, that volume up, so I'll turn that down a little bit. the dial on the radio so I don't accidentally okay speed may grad may vary during the session uh, this is going to be it always sends the messages in your outbox first it's up to over 700 bits per second almost uh, Probably about 800 that time. And it'll, it'll go up and down depending on uh, how the data is being received. Uh, if, uh, if the error rate increases, the, the data rate slows down. Okay, so that, uh, that fairly lengthy message of the International Space Station passes has already been sent.
Okay, we're receiving a message from W8AYN now. You can see the progress bar up here on the status window. And the speed throttled up quite a bit there. That was up to about 800, throttled up even more. And that ends the session. And the, the session details are, are in the session window. It'll probably be a little difficult to see. AC8YA is on. Two thousand bytes per minute. It says BPS on the display, but the description describes it as bytes per minute, not bits per second. So it's a little unclear. <clears throat> COP. There, that is usually there. should reach very high speeds, 2,000, 2,500, Okay, let's see. Please be sure to vote November 3rd. All up from the election, regardless of the outcome. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's go over how to respond to a to an ICS 213. Now when you open the message there's a reply area here but it's not live. You can't type anything in there. What you have to do is open the text version of the message and then click reply up here. Now the reply window is active. So we'll, we'll put in a reply here. in reply down here and then submit and 
and we can close that, close the out box, close that, start another session. Let's go to the outbox. A little mistake here on my part. Remember earlier I said these messages have to be sent as a peer-to-peer -peer message. And by default, they're going to make them WinLink messages. So we change that to a peer-to-peer. -peer. We post it to the outbox. It didn't send in that session because that was put in the outbox as a WinLink message. So we'll do it again here real quick. Turn that down. Don't have to listen to that, I guess. This time the message will send. Let's see what kind of speeds we get this this time. Over eight hundred. That was two thousand. Throttling up. Usually it throttles back down at the end of the message. Uh, not sure why, but I think it's just because they don't need uh, high speed just for the small amount of data left at, on the last transmission or two in sending the message. So there we go. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, it wasn't really meant to be a tutorial. Uh, but just a demonstration with kind of an explanation as as we go through the demonstration. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. If you're uh, just getting started with uh, WinLink peer-to-peer -peer sessions and using uh, Vera. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to comment uh, below the video or shoot me an email at k8bz at arrl.net. Thank you.